there, my dear. Yeah, we'll set it right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times movies had to be patched after release. I figure life's a gift, and I don't intend on wasting it. You never know what hand you're gonna get dealt next. Don't you think they might be a bit shocked to see you like this? Well, they might be a bit surprised. <laughs> I feel much better now. For this list, we'll be looking at films that were re-edited after their theatrical premiere or release to address a specific issue. Changes made to meet the needs of certain markets will be considered, but director's cuts and re-releases will not. So don't expect to see Zack Snyder's Justice League. He's back. Which films do you think should have been patched? Tell us in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Black people out in the streets, time to wake up. Allies down for the cause, time to wake up. Every race, color, and culture, you better wake up. Uh, and work together, ain't no stop at a snap, come on. Number 10, The Shining. Stanley Kubrick was a filmmaker who, for better or worse, played by his own rules. A director wholly committed to his artistic vision, it's hard imagining him working within the studio system of today. It's also hard to imagine a major studio editing a film for artistic reasons after it's been sent to theaters. But in 1980, that's exactly what Warner Brothers did. About one week into The Shining's theatrical run, the last two minutes were cut from the film. The film projectionists actually did it themselves at theaters and were instructed to send the removed portions to the studio. Before it was subsequently released in Europe, Kubrick shaved another 25 minutes off the runtime. Number 9. Aladdin Disney certainly has a knack for hiring songwriters who craft catchy songs. Knowing that kids around the world will be singing these tunes for years to come, however, it's very important that the lyrics be appropriate. The film's opening number, Arabian Nights, perfectly sets the mood and setting for the story that's about to unfold. In the theatrical version, however, this song included the lines, Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. This understandably offended many people in Arabic nations and of Arabic descent, including the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Though the lyrics stayed put for the duration of Aladdin's theatrical run, they were permanently changed for the 1993 home video release. Oh, I come from a land, from a faraway place, where the caravan camels roam. Where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense, it's barbaric, but hey, it's home. Number 8. The Program this 90s sports drama underperformed at the box office and has largely been forgotten over the decades. Place the table. Yeah. 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 If the program is remembered for one thing, it's the scene that had to be cut from the film. The moment in question sees Joe Kane, a college football quarterback, lie down in the middle of a busy street. To prove their mettle and show team spirit, other Timberwolves join him. As Samuel Johnson is credited with having said, quote, hell is paved with good intentions. And so while filmmaker Shirley meant for this particular scene to be inspiring, what it actually inspired was a number of dangerous copycat stunts. You don't have to be like them. You can give all that up. Then what? Then what would I be? It'd still be Joe. After a teen was killed and more injured, recreating the scene, the offending moment was removed from the film. Number 7. Show Dogs When a show dog is being evaluated by a judge, they're examined from head to tail, including everything in between. <laughs> Given that this buddy cop comedy was intended as a family-friendly film, however, you wouldn't have expected them to focus so much on the dog's genitals. But they did. In the original cut of the film, Max the Rottweiler makes it all too clear that he is not okay with being touched in certain places. In response, he's coached by other characters to, quote, go to his happy place. Links to real life abuse were made for obvious reasons, and the offending scenes were cut while the film was still in theaters. Oh, no. Number 6. The Rescuers 
We know what you're thinking. What, pray tell, could these two adorable mice have done to warrant a patch after release? Oh, come on. Remember our pledge? Through storm and rain and dark of night. Never fail to do what's right. Don't worry. The charming duo of Bernard and Miss Bianca remain entirely untarnished. Sadly, the same cannot be said for a certain employee. Early in the film, Orville the Albatross takes to the skies of New York City to deliver Bernard and Bianca to their destination. Oh, I just love takeoffs. If you freeze the film at the right moment, however, you can see that someone forgot to close their blinds before getting changed. In reality, an editor put an image of a topless woman in the background of the shot. It took years for anyone to spot it, but when they did, a 1999 recall of the film was issued. Oh, um, uh, sorry, sir. Number 5. Shrek 2. There's really no other character, or film franchise for that matter, quite like Shrek. Mixing fairy tale tropes, potty humor, and more adult jokes and pop culture references, these films truly managed to appeal to all audiences. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would seem that one of the latter jokes missed the mark with one specific individual, David Dorr. In the Hebrew version of the film, Donkey makes a reference to the high-voiced Israeli singer. He does it while suggesting that they got their new feline acquaintance, Puss in Boots, ahem, neutered. What do you reckon we should do with him? I say we take the sword and neuter him right here. Give him the Bob Baca treatment. Dorr and his attorney argued that the film's joke misportrayed the singer as a eunuch, and the distributors subsequently removed the offending line from the film. Oh boy. Number four, Bird Box. Don't get us wrong, we love ourselves a good apocalyptic film. One of you is gonna have a very important job. One of you is gonna have to look. And the person who looks they have to tell me which direction to steer into so that I go the right way. But when inviting audiences into a world where life has been turned upside down by some unforeseen crisis, well, you want to avoid making reference to any real life catastrophes. And you certainly don't want to include footage from a recent tragedy. The eyewitness reports tell of people exhibiting psychotic behavior. Our sources are telling us this does not appear to be pathological or viral, and US authorities are advising the public to remain calm. When first released, the film included actual stock footage from the 2013 Lac Mégantic rail disaster. When a freight train carrying crude oil derailed in the town of Lac Mégantic, 47 people were killed. Given that Bird Box was released just five years after this tragedy, people were understandably offended. Now Netflix has apologized for this, but says today that it's not going to remove the footage, even though some people closely affected by this yeah. tragedy in Le Megantic had asked them to remove it. Netflix originally declined requests from survivors to remove the footage, but eventually acquiesced and edited Lac Megantic out of the film. Number 3. The Santa Claus Released in 1994, this holiday comedy starring Tim Allen spawned two sequels and has become something of a modern classic. The film has got a few crude jokes and references to keep parents entertained, but it can generally be described as good, clean fun. We're also about families, but our families aren't here with us right now. So it's probably why Johnson's secretary sit in his lap. Unfortunately, one of the more adult-oriented lines eventually needed to be cut from the film when it led to a $400 phone bill. After being given a phone number, Scott jokingly pretends that it's a sex hotline. 1-800-SPANK-ME. I know that number. Uh, and a Merry Christmas to you too. Unfortunately, it turns out that 1-800-SPANK-ME is a real sex hotline. And sure enough, in 1996, a kid called and racked up a massive phone bill after watching the movie. To avoid a repeat of the incident, the scene has since been cut from all home media and digital versions. Scott, I mean, you're not listening. We are very concerned about this. Concerned about what? Number 2. Incredibles 2 In the age of hot takes, trailer breakdowns, and YouTube film analysis, filmmakers are more careful than ever about what makes it into the finished product. Hello? What? Uh, hello? Do I have your attention? Yes, Chad? As such, it's kind of shocking that the movie included scenes that risked triggering viewers with photosensitive epilepsy. The bright flashing lights used by the villainous screenslaver, 
put certain audience members at risk for both migraines and seizures. Green Slayer interrupts this program for an important announcement. Theaters posted warnings in response to the concerns raised by Epilepsy Foundation, and Disney followed suit by asking all theaters to do the same. For their part, Disney re-edited the film to reduce the intensity of the scenes in question, and this edited version is the one that the UK and other international markets received. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Django Unchained. The film was pulled from theaters in China and re-released with three minutes cut out. So you really free? Yes, I was free. You mean you want to dress like that? Brazil. Universal demanded a happier version for the US release, but eventually settled for just a shorter one. Don't fight it, son. Confess quickly. If you hold out too long, you could jeopardize your credit rating. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Kubrick cut a full 19 minutes from the film after it premiered to tighten up the plot. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cats Oh no, look what the cat oh. dragged in. Looking back at the various films on our list today, the edits or patches were overwhelmingly made in the name of fixing something offensive or dangerous. Cats, however, feels more like a video game patch. Ahead of its release, the film was being heralded as a groundbreaking moment in the history of VFX. We've used digital fur technology to create the most perfect covering of fur. These are people, but they're cats, and this is kind of blowing my mind. Upon release, however, audiences and critics alike were too distracted by the many, many bizarre choices that permeated the film. At the drum, oh, oh. As for the VFX, the cat-like transformation of these stars left more people uncomfortable than impressed. In a bid to deliver on its visual potential and fix a number of CGI bugs and glitches, the studio pushed an update with improved visual effects. Cats made film history, sure, but not in the way people expected. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.